Hi, I'm Jeremiah Prophet. And I'm Chandra Prophet. And today on Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers TV, we're going to talk about this yellow monstrosity right here behind us. Yes, we are. And then we're going to talk about some different levels of restoration and where to draw the line on a Land Cruiser if you're not going all the way with a restoration. Then we're going to let you in on a little secret on how we organize our labor and production. Stay tuned, it's going to be a great episode. As you can see, this build is slightly different than most of our normal builds. We've widened it 20 inches, stretched at 70, and this is to accommodate the 14 passengers that Wildside 4x4 Tours is going to take up in Estes Park, Colorado. This rig is so big, we're going to let the guys tell you more about it. The roll cage alone in this vehicle has 300 feet of wire, truly over the top. Jordy gets to work on the top end of the wiring, and I get to do the bottom down here. We get it all outside together. Who built all this stuff? <laughs> Unfortunately, me. Hey, Roy, what do you got to say about working on O'Malley? O'Malley? Who's O'Malley? Well, here, guys, here's what I have to say about O'Malley, okay? Seriously, please, help. O'Malley has almost taken my life. You know that big yellow Land Cruiser? What yellow Land Cruiser? Lots and lots of body work. Just tons of body work. A lot of hours, man. <laughs> And I started on that when I first got here. The same amount of material if used on another application, such as a garage floor, would cover three car bays. If we tried to put the same material on uh, vehicle truck beds, we could do 13 different trucks with it. <laughs> Who bit all this tubing and made all these welds? I didn't do all the welds. Did some of them. Most of them. The pretty ones. Oop, cut that out. <laughs> That pretty was. <laughs> For the paint on this truck, we use PPG Delphi Evolution Polyurethane Paint in Corvette Velocity Yellow. Polyurethane paint is used in the fleet truck industry. It's more durable than conventional car paint, and it's made to hold up to a lot more wear and tear. I have a feeling this truck is going to need it. Don't let Alex fool you. This project was <laughs> primarily his for the first six months it was here. He built this whole thing. And now everybody swoops in at the end to steal all the credit. But right there, genius behind this monstrosity. Oh boy, nightmare. This truck is so big that we could not build it on a regular Toyota frame. So we used an F-350 Ford frame. And we also put a 6 liter Chevy Vortec with 450 horsepower in it. A build like this really lets you use your imagination. And this thing has all kinds of crazy cool accessories. Lights all over the cage, pointing in every direction. A rear bumper with three receiver hitches for some reason, probably to tow three water skiers or three trailers at the same time. And check this out, every passenger even has their own panic button. Smoky. It's smoking! problems we run into doing a partial restoration like this is knowing exactly where to draw the line. Uh, for instance, we are replacing the sheet metal around these wheel wells. Uh, somebody had put the aftermarket flares on and cut out the sheet metal, so we wanted to return that back to the stock look. Had to weld in some uh, repair pieces, this, this whole lip. And uh, due to the fact that this is uh, single thickness sheet metal, that is also going to carry this repair on into the inside of the vehicle where we're going to have to do some grinding, some filling, and actually some refinish work on the inside as well. And with these old uh, Toyotas, when you get into them, you find little other things that need repaired. We had to do some repair work on this corner and some other stuff down lower. And that's all going to need repaired uh, in order to give this thing a nice look. So after we complete our repairs, now we are going to have to paint not only the outside, but the inside as well. And this is where it still gets tricky as far as drawing the line because depending on the condition of the rest of the vehicle, the older repair or the, or the original paint can suffer by comparison. Matt is absolutely right. It's so hard to figure out when to draw the stopping line. This rig, of course there was an extra antenna right here. And there was another extra antenna on the other side. So now we've got to fix the rear of the vehicle and refinish it. Refinish up through at least this part of the cowling. But then guess what? 
There was rust repair on the fenders. There's an extra hole in the hood. The paint is almost completely worn off of the wiper motor cover. Where do you stop? The next step is an entire vehicle paint job. And while you're at it, you might as well refinish the underside. And while the body's off, you should remove the drivetrain and powder coat the frame. It seems a little extreme, but that's just the kind of way that it normally rolls here. So we really try hard to work with you on a good stopping point, but keep in mind, there isn't always a great one. This 83 Land Cruiser is another good example of having a kind of a struggle as far as where to draw the line on the repairs. It initially started out as a rear sill replacement. It had some rust coming through in the rear sill. Um, but by the time we got done chasing that rust, we had basically found some rust in just about every body panel on this vehicle. So what started out as a simple repair with a spot in has turned into a complete exterior repaint. Uh, which is also going to be beneficial because uh, half of this vehicle had been painted in base clear and half in single stage and those two paints are going to weather and, and turn different colors unevenly so instead of having that panel or two that sticks out this thing's going to be looking good for many many years to come now that's right, this Land Cruiser actually morphed its way into what we call a true stage two restoration. And we don't do very many of them. A stage two on an FJ40 is one where the body tub is never removed from the frame, but all the rest of the body parts come off and are sandblasted typically, and they're refinished individually. The only thing that hasn't been repainted on this vehicle is the dashboard itself. And so a stage two restoration is a way to get uh, your body at least completely cosmetically refinished without getting into any of the frame or drivetrain or mechanical. So these two restorations are the kind of restorations that we specialize in. They are both stage three body off restorations. This is a 1984 BJ42 that's a body off stage three restoration and we're putting the Cummins R2.8 in it. And this is a 1966 FJ45 pickup also with a Cummins diesel, also a body off stage three restoration. And we love them, Bob's gonna tell you why. Stage three restorations are what we prefer to do because it allows us to put our hands on every component of the vehicle. You never know what's lurking beneath old body work from previous restorations. So this way we know exactly what we're dealing with, making it possible to eliminate all the rust and start from scratch. We use all OEM replacement parts when still available. We restore and refinish every part down to the smallest fastener. The Land Cruisers are better than new when we are done. A monumental task such as this Land Cruiser, which requires thousands and thousands of tasks, could be very daunting. And one might wonder who's telling everyone what to do. Actually, no one. We use a system based on Toyota's production system called Scrum. As you can see behind me on the board here, every little task is on an individual post-it note. We have three categories, do, doing, and done. It makes it simple to find out what we need to do, what is going to be done, and what is already done. We plan every project once a week and we meet every morning to figure out who's going to do what by when. That's it. Thanks for watching this episode, episode 18 of Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Be sure to check us out on Facebook at Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers, Instagram at Pro Cruiser, and our website is ResurrectionLandCruisers.com. That's right. So this was 18. That means you can go back and watch 17 all the way back through number one. Binge watch, tell your friends, share it. We'd love to see more people and more likes on our episodes. And don't forget to comment. Thanks a lot. All right. Still rolling? Yeah. Yep. Still I've been rolling for like a minute and 52 seconds. Yeah, I've got yeah. 317. Don't cover up my Justin Bieber bracelet. Oh, yeah, never say never. Mark's under your hiding. Whatever you do. It's don't. upside down. Not to I me. Think, I think that Not the bracelet to... should go the other way around. All I care about is that I can read it. Oh, th thank you, Billy, See? for spinning it the right way. Yeah.
interesting, like something different. Song. There was some yeah. other thing. You were going to do the social media, reference. and then I was going to say... You know, I feel like all these various signal wires are easy I have no idea. Come back with you. Yeah. So you could pull it out. You know what I mean? You're saying no, the loop you lose. No, no clue.